Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together Part 38, I think. Yeah, let's just go with it. And last part, um, Alex did her song, and Alex got pregnant, and uh, we adopted a child. Jessica adopted a child named Savannah, and Jessica, right now, is writing a romance book, and it is, like, basically, like... You remember how, back in the day, Jessica wrote a book, I think it was like Starcross or something, and it was about these two lovers who could just like never be together or whatever, and it was secretly about Spencer and Alex, and it was like her bestseller. Well, she's basically kind of writing like a sequel-esque to it, but it's called Is There Somewhere, and it is set in modern day Windenburg, and it's kind of like Romeo and Juliet, but like a happy Romeo and Juliet, like if they would have lived at the end. And gotten together, but yeah, Jessica's writing her book. Spencer, he's Spencer. He's a man ho. He's just Spencer. Like I don't know how else to explain how Spencer's doing. He's just Spencer. And then Ryan, I had him take care of the baby. Oh, and I also decorated slightly with my favorite void critters that went with the theme of like blue and purple. And this is where Alex's baby is going to live. But, yeah. Alex is just chilling. And we still have all of our Halloween decorations out. Which is sad. And I'm not going to change it. Like, hold on. Uh, control panel. Radio settings. Turn that off. Um, Jessica finished writing her book. Yay. Congrats. I feel like... Her last book, this is this will probably be her second to last book. We're going to write a book called Get Together, and it's going to be, like, about us. Yeah, is there somewhere? A less tragic Romeo and Juliet said in 2016 Windenburg, two hearts in love for so long come together after 20 years of drama and heartbreak. Which is basically what this let's play was, drama and heartbreak. And lots of woohooing. But Jessica submitted her book, and then I'll probably submit Get Together to Literary Digest. Yeah. But we have to write Get Together. <laughs> okay, so we're going to write Get Together, and this is going to be Jessica's last book. Her last book. Write genre book. What kind of book? Is it a short story? Nope. Is it a screenplay? Nope. Science fiction. Poetry. What is nonfiction? Remember, it has to be real to be nonfiction. Nonfiction. We're going to write a non-fiction book, and it's going to be called Get Together. And it's basically going to be like the last Jessica and the Fox book. Hold on. Um, let me scrap this book, because I don't remember. Was it called Teen Idol? The series? Um, actually, we're going to scrap this book. And then, what was, what was her book called? What was her book called? I don't remember what Jessica's book was called, books were called. It's gonna be somewhere over here. We get royalties at some point. Where is it? I think it's called like Teen Idol. Okay, yeah, Teen Idol. It'd be Volume Seven. <laughs> yeah, it'd be Teen Idol Volume Seven. Get together. Okay, it's nonfiction, right? Um. Write a genre book, nonfiction. Yes, yeah, scrap the book. You scrap thing. You scrapped the book. Okay, I'm ready. Lies my writing teacher told me. Nope. Um, teen idol. Wait, I don't remember. Um, volume seven. Get together. I think that's what it's called. The concluding chapter of Jessica. Oh my god. Jessica. Oh my god. My S key does that. Like sometimes and it irritates me. Of Jessica Fox. Where's the little thingy? Jessica Fox's 
life as teen idol. Um, what do I call it? The concluding chapter of Jessica Fox's life is Teen Idol. Um, the drama, heartbreak, and betrayal. Betrayal. I didn't know how to spell it. Betrayal. I'm going to have to Google there. I think it's betrayal. I don't know how to spell it. Hold on. I don't know how to spell betrayal. Is that a word? I think it's a word. Um, let me Google this. Safari. I'm very unprofessional. In case you hadn't noticed, um, betrayal. B-E-T-R-A-Y-A-L. R-A-Y-A-L. Betrayal comes to a close in this heart wrenching saga. Conclusion of this heart wrenching saga. Period. Okay. The concluding chapter of Jessica Fox's life as teen idol, the drama, heartbreak, and betrayal comes to a close in the heart-wrenching saga. Close enough. This better be her best book. Jessica, if this isn't a bestseller, I'm gonna be really upset. Um, Alex, do you have anything in life to do? Ryan, you don't really have any, like, story other than the restaurant. <laughs> and, um, Candace, which I feel like Candace, she's nice, but she's, eh, she's Candace. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna break up with her. About to hang out at Current Lot. I'm about her to hang out at Current Lot. Come on, I'm gonna break up with you, Candace. Have we ever wooed with Candace? I think so. We're gonna woohoo and then break up with her because I don't know if we've ever woohooed with Candace. Oh, Leo's a straight A student. Um, Finley's not. Oh, Finley. Um, we need to get you with, um, Ethan Walsh. Um, go do your homework for right now. Do your homework. Do your homework. Oh, and you have still have Jay's pictures. Okay. Um, is Candace ever gonna, like, get here? Is this the front door? Yeah, this is the front door. Why do you... Oh, didn't need to do that. Um, okay. Come on, Candace. Like, I hate this lot because I can never tell if, like, the Sims are actually gonna get there. Or if they're just gonna, like, run around outside and I'm gonna have to look. Okay, come on. Candace, I believe that you'll show up eventually. There you are. It takes them forever to get to this lot. Like, that's the only downside of living on this island. Pauls. Invite in. We're gonna woohoo and then break up with her. Can you hurry? Like, can you invite her in? Stop watching television. Oh, you look rather irritated. Sucks for you, Candace. Come on. Okay, Candace. We are going to go up to Ryan's room and woohoo. Come on. Yeah, I don't care if you're bored or if you're angry or whatever. I'm about to break up with you after we woohoo, Candace. Like, sorry. I like Candace. It's just she does not have a purpose anymore. Like, she was always going to be, like, a background character. She was never supposed to be this important. She was just supposed to be kind of there. Remember the Jessica and the Foxes? Is she, is she in Jessica and the Foxes? 
Yes, she is in Jessica and the Foxes. This is not suck for you, Candace. This is going to be really awkward. Okay, come on. Oh, Jessica finished her book. Now let me submit this to Literary Digest. Is it a good book? Like a bestseller? It is an excellent quality book. And it has the little, oh, I love how it has the same little um, cover. Submit a copy of the book to Literary Digest. Um, yes. This is our bestseller. You done yet? Come on. I do not have all day. Hopefully the literary digest will love Jessica's work. Books can only be submitted once a week. I don't care. Okay. Now, main breakup. Oh, they're so in love. Just kidding. She's boring. I like Candace, but she's boring. She's even bored. Oh, she's crying. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Okay, be less rude about it, Ryan. You just broke up with this girl. Okay, and now we're gonna gather the two face teams. Hold on. Since it's the last few parts, I am going to cheat. I'm going to put testing. Oh my god, it always puts so many S's. Testing cheats on. Okay. I'm going to cheat their needs because, like, we have to we have to get a few things done. Alter needs. Phil needs world. Everybody can be happy. Okay, two face chains. We're about to get. We're gonna gather the two face chains, and I'm gonna get with Ethan. Finley is gonna get with Ethan. We're gonna do this. Gather at the teen hangout. Let's go. The two face chains. We're ready. <sighs> we have to show Max because Max broke up with Finley in the last part. He stood her up. He stood me up at the factory. He said. Oh, is, isn't it great how you became friends with Ethan Walsh? And then he invited me out on a date. And then he stood me up. And so I broke up with him at the Two-Faced Teens Hangout. And I told myself I was going to get with Ethan. Yep. That's what we going to do. Finley, you got this. I love how I refer to Finley as me. Like, I'm so offended. I'm offended for all these characters. I'm offended for them. Okay, come on. We can do this. I hit... I hate these loading screens. I hate them all. They're so boring. Like, come on. I'm gonna need you to speed it up. Come on. I need to get with Ethan. And I would like for Leo to get with somebody. Okay. Let's go. Ethan. You're Ethan? Yeah, Ethan. We're not gonna kick him out of the two face teams. We're gonna share ideas. Describe a new idea. Because Ethan looks... I feel like he's more like Spencer than Mariah. Because Mariah's really creative and Spencer's really sporty. And you. We can have him get with Elena or Elsa or Lucas. Because if Leo got with Max, that would just be really bitchy. Um, Lucas looks boring. Max is a jackass. That's weird because we lived with Elsa's dad. So, Elena, let's go. Um, ask about day. Um, discuss dance technique. We're not going to complain about the Two-Faced Teen's leader. That is your best friend. And your soon-to-be stepsister who you were, who you were previously in love with. As a child, you were previously in love with her. I'd like that to be... Known for the record. He was in love with her as a child. But then nothing happened because I would have rather their parents get together than them. <laughs> um, monkey around. I don't know what that means. Discuss interests. Was that Catherine Goth? Was it Catherine? Is that her name? Catherine? That is Catherine Goth. She's there. Um, discuss interests. Um, discuss world peace. Ask about day. Where's the cloud gaze? Friendly. 
with cloud gaze. Because cloud gaze fixes it. That's cloud gaze. And then I feel like these two can get to flirting. So romance, ask if single. I'm pretty sure he's single. Romance, compliment appearance. She just looks so, like dark, and I know I gave her this outfit, but this is very, this was only okay for, like, Halloween, like, it's, it's in now, because, like, girl, girl, okay, I need you to, I know, isn't Finley Fisher the best? Oh, thanks, Finley Fisher is the best, is that Spencer? No, I thought that was Spencer, <laughs> from, like, the hair, I was like, Spencer. Actually, let's not change, because that'll interrupt. Oh, they monkeyed around. How sweet. Can you, like, hurry? Why do you hate each other? I need you to not hate each other. Chill! Finley, chill. Finley, who is this hoe? Like, this is a teen hangout. Come on. Flirt with him. Bajorn, I'm gonna need you to go walk away. No, Bajorn, leave me alone. Trying to flirt. Um, Ethan is single, so we're gonna flirt. Compliment appearance. Pick up line. You got this, Finley. You got this. Uh, romance. Exchange numbers. I would assume they already have each other's numbers because, you know, they're in the same club and they're friends. Um, flirt. Romance. Blow a kiss. Romance. Um, sexy pose. Romance. Hold hands. Oh, and they're still cloud gazing. They friends, kind of. Come on, girl. Come on. You got this. I would like them to get their first kiss and maybe, like, a woohoo in that bed downstairs that I haven't forgotten about. Romance. Embrace. Romance. Blow a kiss. Romance. Flirt. Hello, Sophia. It's not at all creepy that you're here. Um, embrace. Are you two? I want them to go. Um, we're gonna go play this video game, play arcade game with Elena. These two, yeah, these two are good. Um, romance, ask to be boyfriend. Romance. Flirt. Is there a hot tub? A closet? Like upstairs? There is a closet upstairs, but it's in use. I'm pretty sure there's not a hot tub outside. No, there's not a hot tub outside. Um, we had woohoo in the sauna, but it's, it's the sauna. Wait, do we not have a sauna? I thought this was a sauna. Okay, so we get the bed downstairs that we wooed with Max in. Um, or we could, let's go closet, mess around with Ethan Walsh, let's go. Oh my god, Max just came out of that closet and dressed, okay, 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 Max, okay, go, 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 go hoes, go little hoes, I love ya, go. I did not ask you, leave, Vic Victor Fang, wrong, let's play, you were supposed to be in city living, leave. Go back to seeing my shoe now. Finley, I need you to run and go down there. Okay, come on. Bye, Max. Finley, go. <sighs> like mother, like daughter. <gasps> Crap! Oh, God. I just realized. If Finley... Oh, God. If Finley and Ethan, if they date, and 
Alex and Spencer get married, it'll be the same thing as if she got with, um, what's his face? As Leo. Like, oh, crap. Ew, they're gonna be, it's gonna be Dan and Serena. Like, step-siblings on gossip. Ooh. I mean, like, at least it's not Leo and Finley. At least they weren't raised together. Like, she didn't know. She probably don't even know that's um, Spencer's kid. He's Ethan Moss. She's Mariah's kid. That's all she knows. Oh, you're very playful. I really hope you don't get killed from that playfulness. Where's Elena? This is sad. Finley can never have a good romance. Oh, we could have done a bush woohoo. Didn't say that. Where is Elena? Did Elena leave? I don't see Elena. Dude, where is Elena? Elena, where you be? I don't see Elena. I see, um, Elsa, but I don't see Elena. She got home. She probably went home. Oh, well. We'll romance her next part. Finley. No, um, sweetie. Um, no, um, outfits change. Change into your everyday wear. And I think we're gonna go home. We're gonna end our gathering. And we are gonna go home. I don't know. It's Finley. Like, girl. Your new man is gonna end up your new stepbrother. Who is this? Is this it's Elsa, I think. Yeah, that's Elsa. Oh my god. Finley really knows how to pick them. Oh my god, but it's funny. They did their first woohoo in a closet, and I'm pretty sure Alex and Spencer did their first woohoo in a closet. Mm. Wonderful. As if that wasn't already creepy. At least it wasn't like the same closet. I'm pretty sure um, Spencer and Alex, they woohooed together. They woohooed at that club, the downstairs closet, or it could have been the closet at the house. I don't remember. But, like, family. I don't know whether to keep them together or not. Because that'll be really creepy. That's, that'll be really creepy. <laughs> like, I feel, I don't know. Like, with Dan and Serena, I guess it wasn't as creepy. Because they dated before. I don't know. I feel like it'd be creepy if it was, like, Leo and Finley. I feel like it'd be creepier. It would. I feel like it. Oh. I guess, but, like, they weren't raised together. Like, Finley and Ethan. So I guess that makes it slightly more okay. I don't know. I feel like Finley needs a man. Um, do your homework. Um... Throw that away. Finley, did you finish your homework? No. Does Finley ever do her homework? Um, Alex, work hard. Savannah, are you good? Yeah, you good. When is she gonna... Third trimester in 22 hours. So, she just needs to go through her third trimester, and then she'll get birth. Probably in part 39. Probably. What is wrong with Jessica's neck? What are you doing, Jess? Trolling the forum? No, sweetie, you're not going to troll the forum. Actually, Leo, instead of doing the rest of your extra credit work, you are going to socialize, chat with Elena. And you, I think, you're going to stay single for a while. You're going to stay single. So, I'm going to need you to go to sleep or something. Deal with your life, Ryan. Spencer and Alex, ugh, they have caused more issues than Romeo and Juliet. Um, you can stop your extra credit work. Finley, like, you look like a crazy person, so I'm gonna need you to do your extra credit work. Maybe that'll bore you. 
like titillating banter, feeling good, decorated, comfy, new partner, first kiss, closet kiss. That was not your first kiss. That was not your first kiss. That was not her first kiss. Times kiss. She's kissed people four times. Sweetie, that was your first. Oh, it was her first kiss with Ethan. Wait, what did that say? What did that say? Times woohoo to mess around. Sure. Oh, hey, Paolo. You're a, th you're a thing. But, like, Spencer. I love looking at Spencer's family tree because you see someone at two places. It's, like, guaranteed you'll see someone in a, in a second place. Because there's, there's William. There's William. So, Willow is Leo's half-sister, but also, this is, this is Anne, because Leo is William's stepson and his grandson. William is Spencer's, God, Jade is Spencer's stepmother and his ex-wife. <laughs> So that would make Leo Spencer's stepbrother and his son. Oh my god. There was no incest. I can I can say that though. There was no incest. It was just a lot of eh a lot of revenge on Jade's part, which I don't know. Is she in love with William? I don't know. Well the world may never know. But I think we're gonna end it. Like I have a lot of things to think about for the next two parts of this Let's Play on what I'm going to do with Finley's love life. Ugh, the Fishers. They sure know how to pick them. Like, it's like, Finley and Alex, they both just went for, like, the Montgomery dudes. Even though Ethan is not technically Montgomery, he's a Walsh. But, like, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!